Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. So today I have a little haul video for you guys and I hope the lighting's okay. I bought studio lights. Um, they're not as bright as I would like them to be. Um, I thought they would be alright, but I think the I need to get a new bulb for them because I don't know if this brightness is enough or not. So I'm just gonna I'm just playing around with them for this video. Um, so hopefully it looks alright and there's sirens. Thank you, police officer. Thank you. But anyways, yeah, I'm just playing around with these lights right now. I hope the lighting's okay. I was gonna use just the natural light from the window. However, I have my glasses on right now and there was a huge glare and you couldn't even like see my eyes. So I brought these studio lights out instead. Today, I have a little haul video for you guys. I went to Michael's Craft Store and I go there literally all the time, but I actually went there for a purpose this time and came out with a lot more stuff than I intended on getting. So. First things first, the thing that I actually went in there for is for my art videos, my Art with Nikki videos, I wanted to get something that I could put behind my artwork, like underneath it, so that you guys aren't seeing the carpet or the table that I'm working on. It's just like a nice white surface. And I was going to get a giant pad of um, like sketch paper, like they have those really like huge pads of them, um, but it was so expensive. And my dad and I actually found a giant roll of banner paper so this gives me 75 feet of white paper and so now I can roll this out and put it under all my artwork so that my videos have a white background and you guys can actually see more clearly exactly what I'm working on and it's not gonna be as dark in the background um, so this was what I intended on getting when I went into Michaels so thankfully we found some so I'm excited to start using this in my videos instead of just using the carpet or the wall or whatever as a background. Okay, so the next thing that I got were these gessoed art boards. These are by Speedball. Um, I use these all the time. Sorry for the glare on the packaging of them, but I use these all the time for my artwork. I believe, did I use one of these? No, I used a piece of wood for my last art with Nikki, but these I use all the time. It's gessoed on one side and then it's the board on the other side. And I just really like using these as opposed to a canvas. Um, these are very sturdy, very hard, and canvas can be kind of flimsy. And I actually have a canvas I'm looking at it across the room. I started painting on there. Something happened to it and now there's a huge tear in it and I don't know how it happens, so I can't really finish my painting. Um, but these, they won't do that unless you like crack it in half, like forcefully. So I really like using these types of boards for my projects. All right, so the next thing I got, these are actually, it's a few things. Um, I always go to the section of Michael's every time I'm in there where they have all the scrapbook paper and they have these single sheets of paper that you can buy. And I always go through there and try and pick out a bunch of different ones that I think would be really cool as backgrounds or as just different elements in my projects. So I bought a few of them this time. And this first one here, it's going to be kind of hard to see. So this first one here is like a map and I believe it's a map of Wyoming. I don't really know, but there's like the mountain ranges and stuff. Um all of the like river names the town names um they have like the little symbols for there's like mountains and stuff like that i just think that that would be a really cool background for something all right so the next one that i got is just a marble background it's like a black brownish grayish and like cream marble next is a wood background and this is kind of like weathered um distressed wood that's like been outside for ages you know it's got like the moss growing on it and it's all torn up i just think that would be really cool all right this next one is another wood pattern um again more distressed i really like the natural looking backgrounds like that i think those are really cool so just like this one this one's concrete and i like that it goes from like a dark brownish maroon to the green to the gray to the blue like I just like the change in the colors like that I think that would add a really cool element to any piece 
And last but not least, I had one of these papers before, but I use it in a project. Um, this is just white brick. They had a red brick one, but I don't know. I thought the white one was kind of more modern and it would look pretty cool. Normally, I'm really into like the vintage like old distressed looking papers, but I thought that one was really cool with the white brick. Okay, so the next thing I got that goes along with those other papers is a paper stack, and this is the Jim Holtz Ideology one, and it is the 8 by 8 inch collage stack. And normally, I would buy the bigger ones, like the... Um, 12 by 12 size stacks but I just the papers in this one kind of stood out to me and I'll zoom in a little bit so you could see the different types of papers that this one comes with I gotta open it if I can actually get it open so now that I've taken the tape off the side I really hate how they do that see and I almost ripped the cover off too trying to get the tape off like don't put tape on paper and expect me to try and get it off because it's not gonna come off <laughs> but I really really liked the different designs in this one there was one that I really that really stood out to me this one I think this page is so cool with all like the different license plate letters on it like I just think it looks so cool they did like the alphabet with all different letters um, from all different license plates and this is the one that kind of drew my eye towards this book and Each page there's like one page with a pattern and then the back side of that page has like a different texture to it so I think that that's really awesome. There's even one that has like Letters on it and I think even using this and cutting out these letters individually to put into a different piece instead of using this as like a background I think that would be an awesome element too to add to anything like even this I love this like the cursive writing like an old letter or something just that old style cursive writing that you never see anymore because no one knows how to write in cursive but I really love the look of that and I love even like ripping that up and collaging that in the background and having the cursive in the background all right last one I'm going to show you in here this one I think looks really cool with all of the different like moths and butterflies on it so you could even take these cut them out individually and put them into another piece so I just love finding little things like this that have a bunch of elements to it and a bunch of different patterns and textures and you could totally just use these as complete backgrounds or you could rip them up and cut them out and just stick them wherever you want I think that's really awesome all right now I don't normally use like feathers and stuff in um, my artwork but I saw these peacock feathers and it's gonna be really hard to see because of the glare but I just love the look of peacock feathers I love the colors and how like shiny they are and I just picked some up it's really hard to see them in camera because of the glare from the lights but I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to use these for. I don't know when I'm going to use them. I don't even know like how I'm going to get them onto a collage board or anything. I don't know how I'm going to stick them down, but I'm going to find a way to do it because I really want to incorporate these into something. All right, next I was just walking down this aisle and I saw confetti glitter. This is by Creatology and I'm going to zoom in a little bit. All right, so it's like gold and silver confetti but it almost looks like gold flakes or like foil paper and I just thought that would be really cool to um, put collage glue down and just like sprinkle that over the top of it I think that would add a really cool effect all right next I found these little wooden flowers Let's zoom in a little bit all right so I found these little wooden flowers there's three different kinds and I thought it'd be really cool to use these in a piece that I am going to be working on soon so I have an idea mapped out for my next art with Nikki video or one of the next art with Nikki videos and I kind of like the look of these for what I was planning on doing. I just don't really know how I'm going to incorporate them yet. So we'll see if I even use them or not. But I think these are really cool. And you could paint them all different colors. You could spray paint them. Um, you could even fill in the little gaps with resin. And you could hang them up and do little like wind, um, not wind chimes, um, just like window 
ornaments so that the light reflects through the resin in it. I just feel like these look really cool. They had a bunch of different ones, but I really liked the flower designs. All right, these next three things are all types of brushes. Now, I wanted to pick up some more of these little sponges. I used them in both of my Art with Nikki videos so far for sponging the backgrounds. Um, and mine are kind of getting gross, so I picked up a set of them. There is one that's um, three-fourths of an inch, one that's one and a quarter inch, and one that is one and three-fourths. So these are three different sizes. The two that I have, I believe, are the bigger ones, the one and three-fourths. But I thought it'd be cool to have two smaller sizes as well. So I also got a stencil brush set, and I got a similar brush set um, a little while ago. I haven't used it yet, but I'm always looking for these kind of brushes with really hard, stiff bristles in them because I do a lot of dry brushing, um, and I also have been starting to get into stenciling as well. So, and these kind of brushes I could use for really either of them. So the last set of brushes I got are by Craftsmart, and these are the Craft and Glue brushes. And they have a silver, like, metal handle, and they are really, really, like, tough, bristled brushes. They're, like, messy, kind of cheap-looking brushes, but I really love these for when I do collaging. And I have to use the glue because these I could just chuck afterwards and not really care because I don't want to use my really nice brushes with glue. So I like to use these when I'm collaging and I also like these a lot for um, dry brushing. Just like those other stencil brushes, these are really like tough and kind of gross brushes. So it's nice to dry brush things with. And I believe I use these to dry brush. Um, the background of the ocean in my last art with Nikki. I don't remember though. All right guys, so that is it for this little haul video. I hope you enjoyed. I know a lot of people don't shop at Michael's and don't do this like arts and crafts style of stuff like I do, but I thought I would do this haul anyways. Um, I'm hoping to go shopping soon and get a clothing haul out for you guys. I don't know when that's going to come out, but don't worry. The next time I go shopping, I will definitely put out a clothing haul. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this little haul. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you like it and subscribe if you want to see more videos from this channel. Leave me a comment down below if you feel like it. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.